This is a Spicy Dog Podcast, Episode Four. Hello, everyone. How is everything? It's me again, Petrom from Petrom Language Academy. What kind of characters do you have? Do you always agree with everyone? Can you easily express your opinions on anything? Well, in this episode, we're going to learn how to express our agreements with others on different subjects. We'll also be learning some idioms and expressions. So, let's dive in. When it comes to expressing and showing agreements, there is a bunch of phrases to use. You can say, "I agree with you." I totally agree with you. I couldn't agree more. That's so true. Absolutely. Exactly. That's exactly how I feel. No doubt about it. It is worth mentioning that in English language, we agree with someone on or about something. Let's make a couple of examples to learn it better. I totally agree with Alex on the new topic. She agreed with me about that topic. We couldn't agree on the new issue. As you saw, in English language, we agree with someone on or about something. However, we can also agree with something. For instance, most people disagree with censorship. The ones that are going to be given in this part not only will show your agreement, but also can boost your speaking and take it to next level. To be on the same page. To be on the same page is a phrase which can be used to show agreements. If two persons are on the same page, it means they are in agreements and are working well together. This phrase is highly recommended for business contents. Let's check some examples. Before making a new project, it's necessary to make sure that all team members are on the same page. My friends and I were all on the same page about the journey. We had to reach an agreement on the destination, the length of the journey, and the accommodation. Most parents aren't on the same page with their children, especially when it comes to entertainment and lifestyle. As you may have noticed, we can use the phrase to reach an agreement to show that two or more people have finally agreed on something after negotiating. Here are some more examples. Russia and the U.S. couldn't reach an agreement on the New Deal. They could reach an agreement with our business partners. No formal agreement has been reached between the football clubs to transfer the goalkeeper. The other phrase that I'm going to tell you about is to see eye to eye. To see eye to eye means to be in full agreement. Before mentioning some examples. I have to tell you points about the usage of this phrase. We can see eye to eye with someone on or about something. Let's check it again. We see eye to eye with someone on or about something. Now let's listen to some examples. My friends and I don't see eye to eye on politics, so we'd rather discuss other topics. Despite the fact that they've been living together for years, they rarely see eye to eye on something. Working together as a team for almost a decade, Alex and David see eye to eye on most topics and issues. Now it's your turn to tell me about yourself. You'll be given one minute to write your answers in the comments. 
Do you and your friends see eye to eye on different topics? What about your family members? When was the last time you couldn't reach an agreement with your family members or friends? Please tell me about it in the comments. Now I'd like to tell you about the Spice It Up. As you may know, Spice It Up is a series of English podcasts designed to spice up your speaking, regardless of your aim. This series of podcasts is suitable and recommended to general English learners, IELTS candidates, and those who are willing to prepare themselves for TOEFL or any other English proficiency test, as well as businessmen and businesswomen. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and YouTube to listen to and watch more English contents. You can also follow me on Instagram to get the latest updates. Feel free to contact me on WhatsApp or Telegram to book your one-on-one -on -one online English classes or to order and buy my IELTS and Duolingo English packages. Let me thank you for listening to this episode until the very end. Please take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye-bye.